Now to a woman who inspired so many. The world of television continues to mourn the death of the legendary journalist Barbara Walters tonight. Walters died in her home in Manhattan yesterday. The unofficial ambassador of Hollywood placed a floral wreath at her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today. The 93-year-old set the standards for television journalism, especially for women. Fox News correspondent Eric Sean looks back at the life and legacy of Barbara Walters. She was a pioneer in television journalism. Barbara Walters was born in Boston and was exposed to entertainment her whole life. She was the daughter of Lou Walters, owner of the famous Latin Quarter nightclubs. He was funny. He could write. Maybe my writing ability comes from that. Walters' childhood did have its challenges. Her older brother died at the age of two. Her other sibling, Jacqueline, was mentally disabled. She and her mother cared for Jacqueline. When I do interviews with people and people say I make them cry, the only thing that makes me cry is talking about my sister. Walters graduated from Sarah Lawrence College in 1953. Her first break in broadcasting was as a writer and researcher for NBC's Today Show. She was a working mom, having adopted daughter Jacqueline during the second of her three marriages. At the Peacock Network, Walters climbed straight up. In 1972, she was the only woman reporter to accompany President Richard Nixon on his historic trip to China. In 1974, Walters became co-anchor of the Today Show, which had started her career. Just two years later, in a surprise move, she joined ABC to anchor the evening news. There, she received an historic $1 million a year at the time, the highest salary ever offered to a network news anchor. But Mr. President, you know one does not work for money. One works uh -huh. for love. In 1977, another first, when Walters arranged the joint interview with Egypt's President Anwar Sadat and Israel's Prime Minister Menachem Begin. She anchored the ABC Evening News with Harry Reisner until 1978. The ratings did not match the expectations, and some Mayo colleagues openly criticized her. One year later, she became a correspondent for the news magazine show, 2020 and in 1984 was named co-host alongside her former Today Show colleague, Hugh Downs. Walters went on to host a legendary run of specials with interviews no one will soon forget. She interviewed every president and first lady since President Nixon and became known for asking questions to which everyone wanted answers. Why did you kill John Lennon? I thought by killing him, I would acquire his fame. Along the way, she earned a reputation for having the ability to make almost anyone, from murderers to celebrities, cry. Walter's interview with Monica Lewinsky was the highest rated special in network history when it debuted. You found yourself alone with Bill Clinton in the chief of staff's office and you lifted the back of your jacket and you showed the president of the United States your thong <sighs> underwear. Where did you get the nerve? I mean, who does that? In 1997, she launched the old woman talk show, The View, which she hosted and produced. Her Oscar-winning pre-shows and 10 most fascinating people specials were fixtures on the ABC network. But September 2004 brought an end to Walter's run on 2020. In 2007, she earned her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She published a memoir the following year and became a New York Times best-selling author. Walters underwent heart surgery in the spring of 2010, then got right back to work, interviewing President Obama on The View that summer. She officially retired in 2014, but continued making appearances on the network. How do you say goodbye to something like 50 years in television? The good news is that I will have time now to get Botox. <laughs> but now that I'm no longer going to be on the air, I don't need Botox. <laughs> a winner of multiple Emmy Awards, Barbara Walters became a broadcast legend by treating world leaders and stars simply as people. And in the process, she too became a star. Eric Sean, Fox News.